What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the stream. After Sound here bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I wanted to talk about something that we had discussed on stream a little while back, but now I've actually had a little chance to run some numbers. And I'm going to keep everything small scale here, so it's manageable, easy numbers, but should give you the general idea of what we can potentially do to incentivize more Rift Watcher packs getting into circulation without sacrificing anything, except maybe vouchers, but I'll get into that in a second, without sacrificing, sacrificing anything. So we have, you know, there's still what, two, almost two million Rift Watcher packs that are available from the DAO. And keep in mind that this is something that is owned by the DAO. So the thought process here was to submit a proposal to have the DAO run specific ghost card tournaments. And that is the key here. Ghost card tournaments in which Rift Watcher packs would be given out as prizes. Now, the main, the main reason behind this is because a lot of people don't necessarily want to spend the money to just buy Rift Watcher packs straight out. But if you give additional utility and, and some kind of entertainment, meaning that you have a tournament, well, then all of a sudden we can go in and buy or sorry, not buy, but like we'll go in and play the tournament for a chance to win some of these packs, right? So I want to break down the numbers here because I think it's actually very attainable. So if we if we just do 100 packs, and I want to keep it super, super simple, just 100 packs, you can see here, 100 packs is going to be roughly 26,693 SPS, with SPS being slightly under 28, uh, slightly under two cents is what I meant to say. So here are the numbers that I want to run. Let's say in the month of July, we run four ghost card tournaments, four tournaments over four weeks, right? We'll just do like a weekly Friday thing. And you just do like 25 packs, right? Just 25 packs given out as rewards in these ghost card tournaments over the month of July. So let's go ahead and run some numbers now. And to keep it easy, right? It's 26,693. I'm just going to say for each tournament, we want to make 7,000 SPS, right? That should be the entry fee that goes all back to the DAO. So it's as if we're buying the packs from the DAO collectively as a community, but only some people will get it based on how they play in the game. And it's going to be based on skill level because it will be a ghost card tournament. So uh, let's say let's say we want to do just, just overshoot it, right? 28,000 total SPS, which is, you know, a, bit, a little bit more than a thousand more than what we would require here. And you divide that by four, you'd want 7,000 SPS per tournament. So in order to get that, how many players and accounts would you need to actually join? I don't quite remember where the last SPS or where the last, uh, you know, like the gladiator, uh, open tournaments were or gladiator, uh, ghost car tournaments were, but I'm just going to say, I don't know. I, I don't think that like 25 SPS is that out of line, right? So you divide this by like 25 SPS and that means we would need 280 people on average playing over the four weeks. If we get more than that, then actually we lock up more SPS in the DAO and it becomes beneficial in that sense. If we increase the price, let's just say like 7,000 divided by 30 SPS, right? All of a sudden we're, we're down to 233 on average. Now, I don't know how many players are, are in the game. I don't know how many players are still actively playing and would participate in this. Although I do remember us having a decent amount of, uh, a decent amount of activity and participation in these ghost card tournaments. So ultimately I think, you know, hitting somewhere between like 250 ish, right? Or around 250 ish, uh, players paying anywhere from like 25 to 30 SPS for a ghost card tournament would actually be pretty cool or pretty, pretty attainable. I should say not pretty cool. Although that would be pretty cool too. So again, this is just small scale, but I actually am thinking if we submit this proposal and try to do it for again, like the month of July or the month of August, whatever the case is, I, I'm wondering if how people feel about this and if this is something that they would be interested in. Would you participate in this one, to help the DAO, but two, to help maybe yourself if you can prove with a ghost card tournament just how good you are and win some of these Rift Watcher packs, right? So, and if I look at what, how much is one, one Rift Watcher pack is, per, okay, so this is perfect, right? So to buy one Rift Watcher pack, it's 266 SPS. Are you, are you telling me that you wouldn't pay like a 10th of that price at a chance at playing in a tournament, right? Anywhere from 25 to 30 SPS to play in a tournament, ghost card tournament, so it's an even playing field? 
I don't know. I, I to me, it seems like a good idea. The only thing that, like I said, would be sacrifices. You know, you if you do a hundred packs here, that's hundred and ten vouchers you would essentially burn, or at least a hundred vouchers. But hopefully, we'll find you know a hundred vouchers getting burned for <laughs> for for a month isn't going to do anything when we're printing forty thousand a day. So I'm not as worried about it from that perspective. But I do want to find creative ways to get more Rift Watcher packs into circulation and more SPS out of circulation. So maybe we don't do hundred packs. We could maybe do something higher, a thousand packs, right, and make make this actually something quite big but again it really just depends on where the participation level will be and obviously the more packs you do the more participation you'll need or you'll need to increase the prices overall of the uh, of the tournament entry so let me know your thoughts on this again I'm, i try to keep it very easy numbers i don't think that it would be a massive you know, time suck for the team because it really is just a matter of setting up four ghost card tournaments and they've done it in the past. I don't know if Weird Beard is still the one in charge of setting up those tournaments. But again, if we if we propose this, there's nothing that they would need to fundamentally shift or change from a development standpoint. It's just moving assets around, right? Taking the, the Rift Watcher packs out of the DAO, putting them up as rewards, setting up the or setting up the tournaments, putting the Rift Watcher packs as rewards, and then whatever SPS is collected from these rewards then goes into the DAO. So I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet there. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. But again, if the, here, here's the thing. I actually think that I want to start using... I want to start using this platform to potentially propose some cool ideas. And not just my ideas. Again, I, I'm not trying to take credit for this. I feel like this is something that we as a community on one of the live streams came up with. And I'm just running some numbers with it now, trying to present it to you in a, a very easy to understand way. But if we can start to, if, if we do feel as though this could go somewhere, uh, I'm curious to know if people would be willing to to help fund some some cool proposals here just because I don't know maybe maybe I'm just feeling a little <laughs> maybe I'm just feeling a little impatient but I do think we can add value as a community to the ecosystem by finding fun cool unique creative ways to lock up certain assets that need to be locked up like SPS and get more cards, right? More assets that need to be unlocked, something like, you know, Rift Watcher packs out into the ecosystem. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.